today we'll be dealing with a very small topic mainly the liver its functions and one disease related to liver to begin with what is a liver so we all know that liver is one of the important organ of human body so liver is mainly one of the chemical workshop of our body and why is it called as the chemical workshop of our body it is called as the chemical workshop of our body because it is involved in the metabolism of various nutrients in our body so coming to functions of the liver what are the functions that the liver does firstly it is involved in the intermediary metabolism so intermediary metabolism involves the conversion of the glucose into the fatty bodies formation of the ketone bodies and the metabolism of the carbohydrate proteins and fats next is synthesis it involves in the synthesis of the lipoproteins ferritin etc excretory function excretory functions involve the excretion of the steroids cholesterols drugs and certain toxins from our body storage liver is a storage site for glycogen along with certain vitamins such as vitamin a vitamin d b12 and iron it also involves in the performing of the immunological and hematopoiesis coming to agents responsible for liver damage there are certain agents which are responsible for the liver damage which helps in the hindering of the liver functions so what are those agents to begin with first agent is the dietary imbalance next one is infective agents that is mainly the viruses or hepatitis next is toxic agents which involves the consumption of alcohol and drugs and last one is inborn errors of metabolism so because of these agents what are the damage that is caused to the liver so the various damages which is caused to the liver includes the fatty globulation necrosis jaundice and cirrhosis of liver so let's see about the first condition that is cirrhosis of liver so what is meant by liver cirrhosis so it is a condition where there is a destruction of the liver cells due to necrosis fatty infiltration fibrosis and nodular regeneration so this liver cirrhosis condition is also known as liver scarring and this condition is very serious and it is not reversible in any form or any condition so this picture clearly depicts the difference between the healthy liver and liver cirrhosis so there is this scarring which is clearly visible in this unhealthy liver or the liver which is termed as liver cirrhosis coming to causes so there are various causes which lead to this condition mainly the consumption of alcohol hepatitis c and also the prolonged uh, venous status in the liver metabolic disorders insufficient blood circulation in the liver and so on symptoms so once this causes are done the symptoms include two types internal symptoms as well as the external symptoms so this picture clearly depicts the difference between what are the internal symptoms and what are the external symptoms so the internal symptoms involves encephalopathy portal hypertension cirrhosis change in the color of the urine as well as the stool when it comes to external symptoms it involves the ascites edema and so on diet management so how do we manage this liver cirrhosis with the help of diet so high calorie high carbohydrate high protein moderate or restricted fat high vitamin diet mainly helps in the regeneration of the liver and it also helps in the prevention of formation of ascites low fat with supplementation of fat soluble vitamins and minerals are supposed to be given sodium has to be completely restricted in the case of ascites fiber should be restricted when there is a danger of esophageal varix and portal hypertension moreover the diet should be very attractive and palatable so that the patient consumes such diet thank you